Welcome to the effects page tutorial. This is Andrew from Sound Yeti, and I'm here to show you around. You're instantly greeted with a wide variety of tools, effects, and modulators for shaping your sound. The effects interface brings you a matrix style control over each effect parameter and three main modulation effect types. The interactions and variability you can create are almost endless. The effects interface is divided in an upper and lower half. The upper half hosts the effects controls, while the lower half hosts the modulation controls. Let's talk about the upper half. The upper half of the interface consists of a series of buttons with names of the available effects with corresponding on and off switches in the left corner. To activate an effect, click the blue switch to engage. By engaging one of these effects, the corresponding effects control panel will appear to the right. Each effect parameter consists of a knob, the name of the parameter, the value of the parameter, and the three modulation controls. By selecting a modulation above an effect control, the effects parameter's value is now being controlled by whichever modulation is selected. Only one modulation can be applied to a particular effect parameter at a time, but the same modulation can be applied to any number of effect parameters. When a modulation button is activated on a particular effect, the corresponding modulation controls will be displayed. Don't forget you can gain granular control by adjusting the knob while holding down the shift key on your computer keyboard. Or in case you want to reset a knob, you can control or command click the knob to reset it to its default value. If things get a little too crazy, remember, each page in Collision Effects has a reset button in the bottom left hand corner. Now onto the bottom half of the Effects tab. This section consists of three parts, Envelope, LFO, and a Step Sequencer. Let's go over Envelope. Collision Effects proprietary linear envelope generator gives you precise control of how effect parameters will move through time as you play a sound. It features attack, decay, and sustain controls, as well as peak and offset controls. This is the place to really morph and design your sound. Visually, our envelope helps you see exactly what's happening with your sound, and the shape of it too. The envelope is monophonic, meaning it is triggered once you press a key, but it isn't re-triggered for each note. If you hold multiple keys down at once, it is only re-triggered when a key is pressed, and all other keys are let go. Next on the horizon, LFO. Collision Effects features a custom low frequency oscillator modulation that can be applied to any effect parameter on the effects tab. It provides a selection of oscillator shapes, frequency, offset, and depth knobs, as well as a polarity inversion and fast and slow modes. The selection of available preset shapes are sine, cosine, square, sawtooth down, sawtooth up, triangle, and random. These shapes can be inverted by pressing the polarity inversion button below. The offset control effectively shifts the range of values up and down. The depth control vertically stretches the range of values determined by the oscillator. By pressing the fast slow button, you determine the range of values accessible by the frequency knob. Fast mode allows you to get twice as high of frequency values, whereas slow mode allows you to be more precise in your frequency selection at slower overall values. LFO is great for creating stutters, drones, textures, and more. Last but not least, Step Sequencer.
The step sequencer is a modulation type you can use for tempo syncing. You can change the shape of the curve with the preset menu or by drawing in the step window. The frequency knob determines the wave shape being drawn by the step sequencer. The total length menu determines the repetition period of the step sequencer and in turn, the step size of the sequencer. The number of step control determines the number of steps in the sequencer. Each step is in the power of two. In order to sync the sequencer to the tempo, you have to press play in your DAW. The reset button will clear all steps to zero, and the polarity inversion switch will vertically flip anything currently drawn in the step sequencer. That concludes the effects page tutorial. Be sure to check out our other videos, and if you have any questions, drop us a line. Design away. Thanks for watching.